Welcome to Dave's new podcast. And this morning I've been uh, thinking about a book I'm reading at the moment called Eat This Book by a guy called Eugene Peterson. In it, he's talking about how we uh, read the Bible. And he says, uh, so often we, you know, when we read a book, we approach it from the point of view of taking in the information, putting it on the shelf, being able to answer questions on it, for example, or apply it in some way, and, buy, and then buying another book. It's all about absorbing information. There's several examples in the Bible, uh, Ezekiel being one, John in the book of Revelation being another, and I think Jeremiah being another, where the prophets are told not to read the book, but to eat the book. And when you think about that, when you think about the food you eat, that affects everything you do, doesn't it? It affects your waistline, it affects your brain cells, it affects your nerve endings, it affects who you are as a person, you know, we're always told to eat healthily. And what you take in in that way doesn't mean that you talk about food all the time, but it does affect who you are as a person. And uh, Peterson gives the example of uh, his granddaughter, who, while he's reading to his grandson, reading a book, his granddaughter will have grabbed another book, and she's much younger, presumably a little toddler. She has grabbed another book, and she's chewing on it. She's trying to take that book into herself, but not through her ears. She's not bothered about that. She's taking it in through her mouth. And that's what the prophets are told to do, to absorb this word of God in such a way that it will enter their very being. I'm, what I'm always trying to do is to think, what does it mean for the word of God to be in our lives, part of our lives? And what I don't mean when I say that is to be able to quote it all the time or have a Bible verse for every situation. I don't think it means that at all, certainly not in my life anyway. It's about how do I connect with it? How does it make sense for me? How does it shape people, life, the world? What does it tell us about God in the world? All of those kind of things. And so that, as I said before, it's not like reading information that we can then verbalize or repeat to other people, but actually it's just there within us, shaping us, feeding us, nurturing us, going to our waistline and our brain cells and our nerve endings. And, well, I think it was um, the great uh, St. Francis of Assisi who had that quote, which I will just look up right now. He said something like, preach the gospel at all times and use words whenever necessary or if necessary. And I think that's the same kind of thing, that when you've absorbed this book, this word of God, the living word, you know, when you've absorbed that, then it isn't about just repeating it or verbalizing it, as I've said, but it's just within you. And who we are becomes that message, if you like. Now, I don't know, I'm still exploring what that means. But it's something at the moment that's that's uh, reading this book, eat this book, has certainly sort of penetrated my thick skull and is buzzing around my grey cells. Thanks very much for listening. That was Dave's podcast.